Welcome back, everyone. Let's get ready now. We've got another battle to fight somewhere, don't we? Mad Dog Marty, we're going to have you move up north. You've got to recruit a few new units like a rotting leviathan or even another hero. Windy Sea Legs, she'll be back in one turn. Cat Butters, again, I don't know if I like that name at all. Cat Butters. Okay, we are done conquering here. We've got to go up north. I would like to finish conquering the land of Teclas. You here we go. Something. Are they happy? Look at that. They're happy. I just conquered them. Imagine being conquered by a bunch of undead pirates going, Yarg! And you're like, yeah, you know what? Not too bad. Lacquer powder for Sam Jenkins. He'll be doing that. Trusty Montford's over here. He needs to heal up. We're going to bring him back home for a bit. Hi there, Teclas. You're back. Hello. Too bad you're not going anywhere important, pal. I need to give you a Gunnery White. Do I have one over here? I believe I do. No, I need a building tree for that. I can get a lot of Vampire Fleet Captains. Good God. I mean, these aren't too bad, I've got to tell you. Could grab any of them. I do like my Deep's Magic. You know what, we're going to grab you. You're level 10. That's really good. All right, what am I going to give you? Replenish. There we go. What else do I want to give you? There's a bunch of good stuff up here. You'll take a few over here too. And done. Level 10 of the bat. I could just like recruit a bunch of them, but I'm not going to do that because I mean, that's really not that fun to watch in my view. All right, Robbie the Creeper. You'll come join him. Come on. I guess you don't really have room, do you? No, but I will get rid of at least a few things here. Yeah, you did take a beating. I'm looking at it now. I think I'll keep only two deck gunners. We'll change up my range units a bit. I've got way too much artillery. I've got a mortar, but I don't really need a mortar. So again, we're going to change it up. I'm going to have some more flying units in his army. Those can be quite good if you use them correctly. Okay, we're pretty much done, I think, outside of actually upgrading our fleets or our ships. They would comprise a fleet, but they on their own are not a fleet. Okay, here we go. More growth. Still anchor. 14,000. A lot of gold gone. We should be having more videos up per day now. Um, as I did mention a previous day, I did get a new kitten, so a lot of my extra time has been spent on that. But he is situated quite well. Got a lot of toys. Got more coming on the way. And um, hopefully a new friend coming too. I don't believe in having kittens on their own. So hopefully in a few weeks we'll have another cat to be a buddy to our little friend. Okay, Maggie Blackcell, vampire fleet captain, wounded by who? Krappus. I know what his name says, but I'm gonna call him Krappus. We get to belittle those who oppose us. Oh, hi there. Back to my turn. Duke Jared, where the hell did you come from? Where's he at? He's not an issue yet. He could be an issue later. He does have Knights of the Blazing Sun. Those are damaging for me to fight. Easy enough. I'll take the money. Get more money for me. Thank you. We can now improve that Citadel and spread more corruption as we are upgrading that building. Meaning more corruption for you, pal. <laughs> Makes me happy. Doesn't make him too happy, though. All right. Tutos Adley. Here is a, oh, 14,000, dear God. Mad Dog Marty, okay, you're back here. Cool. What are we gonna give you? Well, we've got a few ideas, I think. I think locally, we're gonna pick up for you some flying units. I don't think I actually have that here in this area. That should be over to the west, if I remember correctly. Somewhere over here. Right. I'm going to go back down to the mouth. You know what? We'll do that first. My agents are close by anyway. Come on, Robbie. Come on, Isabella. Well, no, you're not joining that army. My bad. You're coming up here to go join Trusty Montford. Zeklis, did you make it back already? No, he didn't. The Blue Vipers are giving them what's what. Holy crap. Zeklis, where are you? He got away from me. That's pretty rude. All right, what about our good buddy, Luther Harkin? Luther Harkon is uh, currently busy. He's about to go conquer some more enemy lands. 
I wanted to get some treasure, but we're just going to let him come over here real quick. Who's over here? No. Shield, level one with a big army. Captain on deck. Okay, Wendy Sea Legs. Let me go look at you. I guess you're coming in to help out. He'll be there in one turn. Mad Dog Marty. Let's get you to pick up. Bombers are actually not that good right now. Want to have a good time. Bring in the handguns. Oh, yeah. Those do a lot of damage. No, I want more than one. I'll take four. And I'll take a Death Shriek Terrorgeist. Three turns total to recruit it. We've got the Necrofexes. After that, I'm going to take only infantry. We could just change it up and not get any Death Guard, though. They're so good. Or I could get rid of my Morgul's and get Death Guard instead. I do have Rotting Prometheans, and I think I have way too many. Yeah, we'll change it up. We're going to need some of you. That'll be three. You're going to be my fodder. I'll take one of you. I've got room enough for one more agent, and we'll see how that build plays out. I've got way too many Necrofexes. I'm going to give one to two toys Adley later. All right, I've got money still. Let's go ahead and get that going. It's for more public order. My public order seems to be fine. I actually don't need that much public order here, which is surprising. We'll demolish that building. Upgrade the one over here to a Buccaneers Tavern. All right, let's go look at my... Well, I do have an event going on, I believe. Yep. Yeah, we'll wait until that's done, then we'll see. Actually, let's... Before we get rid of that, let's wait. I want to get up my Holy Quarter in case someone comes down to bother me. All right, Luther will be ready in a turn. Let's move a little bit closer. It's not much closer, but he's too strong. They won't bother him. Okay. He does Adley, you're not really doing too much. Trust you, Monford. You've got an agent coming your way. You're not moving yet. When we come down on Itza, I'll have at least three armies coming down on Itza pretty hard. We're just trying to push Teclis into his little corner. So far, that's worked out. If I have Luther Harkon move in from behind, he's done for. He's trying to move back. He's trying to fend off the Blue Vipers, which if he does do that, good for him. I'll come back after Itza. We'll take out Itza. We'll go through the dwarves. We'll get the dwarves. We'll colonize what we can. The Bloodhawk Coven, or whatever they're called, I might leave them alone. I don't, I don't really know. I'm going to find out how that plays out. Okay, so we're going to fast forward now. It would be cool if like there was a mod where you could specify exactly. Like there is a randomizer, but I would love one that would let me to specify exactly what faction I want to use that I own and where I would want to put them to begin with. Okay. More armor piercing damage. Dear God, it's going to do a lot. More armor piercing. Heck yeah. Okay, that's going to be more ammo for them. But over here, that's even more missile damage. Black powder oxide is the hotter the explosion, the more easily their rags and dry bones will light up. <laughs> it's going to do a lot, man. Booty. What? Show booty. I didn't know we were doing that type of uh, video. When I partner up with Nataku, then we could talk about that. Yeah, so I found out Nataku is like this um, adult game place. And they actually reached out to me and they're like, hey, would you like to play some of our games? And I'm like, you know what? That would be typical of me to do that. So I'm going to look at it and see. <laughs> Hint, I believes here. Welcome back. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, that would be pretty funny. In case you haven't like learned yet, <laughs> I'll do things because they make me laugh or it makes me laugh. That's like the basis of a lot of what I do. Does it make me laugh? If not, meh. I don't care that much. We'll take that. Two doors, Adley. Take your sky cell. She's really been training up, though. I'm proud of her. Okay. We're going to give her a trickster shard. We're going to give her a potion of strength. Here's a hand weapon. Here's some armor. A talisman for physical resistance. She'll need that more than the magical, I think. It's in their turn again. Okay, so I'm besieged. Can I help you? Who is it? Oh, that's me, right. My bad. <laughs> oh wait, who's trying? Is that Teclis trying? No, it's gotta be Itza, right? 
Someone's trying to do the ritual. What a bad idea. I'm going to have some chaos corruption in my lands, but it's okay. Look at all the issues that are happening around here. The blue vipers are trying to surround Teclas, and he might lose it. I'm kind of hoping he does push them back so I can unite the entire province. If not, I'll deal with it later, but... Teclas, we can't have you out here, buddy. Yeah, when my little friend's a little bit bigger, I'll leave my door open so he'll be able to walk in. But I've got to cat-proof my room first. I've got a bookshelf with a lot of books and a lot of big books, too. Like, really thick books. Amanar has risen. Causing issues over here. I mean, I feel like it should potentially cover several segments and not just one if you wanted to truly be a threat. Because, I mean, it's so random. It doesn't do too much to, like, stop anyone. Mad Dog Marty has a lot going on. Cool. Yeah, you got that to lower your upkeep. We have one more turn, then we'll be ready. We'll be able to move the Mad Dog back out. He's got a new army. I changed it up. Standing by. Oh my god, are you an idiot? So he does have land down here. Mmm, Tor Elisor, right? Okay. Two toes. You might have to go out there later. That Duke's got to die too. Okay. Let's go look at what I can get, two toes. I, I think two toes can finally leave. I want two toes. When I say it like that, it just sounds weird. Yeah, it's time for you to move up north. It's finally time for you to build your own army. I was going to wait for 15k, but I feel like she's good enough. Oh, hey, Clan Moors. Lord Skrulk is uh, pretty good. I'm kidding. He's got a crappy army. He's not looking great. Two more turns, I'll be able to get a little plug of money. Yeah, they're just kind of chilling out, it looks like. What other type of thing can I get you? That would let you pick up a Necrofex. Very fun. That is a dart launcher. 12,000 eventually, it'll cost you. Do you have mortars? You do have mortars. Give that a go. Here's your dart launcher. Alright, we've also got Tressie Monford. And, uh, where's he at? This is Isabella. Isabella's going to come join. Mad Dog Marty. I had a feeling you had more to build. A Sky Cell for you. Here's a Stone Weight. And what else do you need, pal? You've got, like, generally everything, I think, that you could need. Outside of having the Shoof Bar. We'll take that. One more turn to go. I'm gonna end our turn again. I'm gonna do that siege battle in a minute. I just wanted to end the turn real quick because I want to get my armies ready. I don't want to forget where I want them to go. Oh, you mother. Oh, I cannot wait to kill off that faction. It looks like they have no power to go after the Blue Vipers if you look at that. They did wound Isabella de Clotter, who just got there too. They burned down a location. They're being spiteful now. I could, I could always like crush the blue vipers if I really want to take their lands. I've got the two armies to do it. We haven't really fought orcs like that in a while. Our weird domination campaign where we're just conquering the world, destroying every enemy possible. They just take over that location. Okay, so Cyclus is nearly gone, at least in Lustria. We're about to expunge him and his filth. Well, his cleanliness that we don't believe in. Alright, you're not ready. Let's go, pal. We've got a raiding rogue army. And I need you to go after Teclas. He's really powerful. He's able to do it. Other factions, maybe not. Right, take that real quick. Take that too, buddy. Well... What I could do for now, I could just raise the dead. Bring in a new unit. That's a lot of sirens. Good lord. Try to think about a decisive unit. We haven't really used animated hulks too much. I'm going to try that out for a little bit. I should probably give him a shot. I haven't really given him a shot. Fair shake. No. Not ship shake. No, she said ship shake. Or shape. Ah. Confuse myself. Parapets over here. What else do we need? That's money. 
A plunder pile is pretty good, man. That would be for public order. I could get rid of that building instead. Let's do that after we get the public order building up over here. That'll work. Okay, I think we're ready to go into battle now. She's going to build up her own army. We're going to have a lot of money after that. We're going to go conquer what belongs to Teclas. Which will now belong to me. Check out that army. That's a pretty good army. Mine's better. Though we do lack good old creepy carry. Lacking creepy carry just makes me sad. I like having him around. We ha we've like barely had him around, dude. Oh, it's a field battle. Okay, that should actually be a little bit interesting. They've got a lot of mounted units and a flying one as well. I've got a Necrofex, a Rotting Leviathan, Queen Bess. I lost my Mortar, unfortunately. I do have those uh, cheaper units, but they're meant to be fodder. They're meant to charge in and just really annoy the hell out of them. Okay, let's begin deployment. So we're going to have like this crazy line that's just going to charge in and catch him in a quagmire giggity. So we're just going to do that. Got a few pull arms on the flanks. Yeah, like that. Death Guard will reinforce later. Queen Vest, she's going to be back here having fun. Running Leviathan, you're going to be over here. Necrofex in the middle. Gunners, you're going to kind of be in the back. Luther, you're going to be in your own group. Actually, hold on. Before we group up anyone else, you're going to be in your own group. Okay, the rest of you are pretty much ready. Yeah. As you well know, every single ranged unit. Well, not every single, but most of them. Got to group up. Queen Vest, you're not going to be in that group. Let's go in now. They're coming to me, it looks like. Okay, well, that's fair. Fair and fine. We've got all those artillery. Just go hit them. Alright, I don't want to deal with all their stupid friends. So let's go after their artillery. And Queen Bess, why don't you go after their Lothic Sea Guard? Okay, and while that's going on, why don't we come over here to debuff and weaken those who are coming to fight me? Very nice. Here they come. How about my Necrofex? So, if they want to wait there for a second, I'm okay with that. We're just going to use some abilities. Kind of weaken them. Comes a bunch of white lines. I'm okay with that too. Silver Helms are moving in. What a bad idea. I totally wouldn't do that, pal. We already shot down a bunch of those Silver Helms. It's incredible the firepower that we have. And then we get to use uh, over here a sort of cane. And then over here, maybe some Pyrenade. And our shanties. Time to go in now. It is time. Come in, zombies. My gunners have it. Rotting Leviathan. He's got it. We're going to let Luther have fun over here real quick. Can use that spell that close, unfortunately. We'll Deep up everyone close by just to make their day pretty bad. Alright, we got him. Death Guard. We're going to have you come over here. Go shoot their Illyrian Reaver archers. You got it. It's more of you who can come in. Okay, Queen Bess, come over here to target some more enemies. You got them. You can come over here, use some explosion or explosions. We can debuff those who are coming at us right now. With the Silver Helms. Oh, too far away. Okay, gotcha. At least some magic nearby too. Yeah, they're moving in. Go hit over here instead. That Rotting Leviathan has it, the other group under their control. The Gator over here. Go to the Shadow Warriors. There's a lot of you over here. Go to the Silver Helms. Other Death Guard. Go kill their White Lions and friends. And Necrofex, you're not done going after their Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Queen Bess, you're done. You did your job. We'll go hit those Illyrian Reaver Archers. Who's really left now? Not a lot, huh? No. Running Prometheans, you get to come in. Yeah, we just get to kind of come in and kill everyone. Use your explosion. Hit that group. You can go after those who are fleeing. I like that. 
All right, Luther did his job. He killed how many? 244. That is only going up. Okay, if you're not done fighting, then go in and fight now. Go kill Fiodos Chariots, please. Zombies are still getting hit hard, but who cares about that? I know I don't. Sort of Kane. We'll bring you in over here instead. We'll finish off the white lines, I suppose. Yeah, you might as well do that. Then we're going to use a fog of the dam to debuff some enemies. Yeah, I like that. Cyberians are holding on. Let's go look at who's left over here if you want. Okay, there's 49 left over here. We've won. I didn't zoom in. I wanted to focus on micromanagement because, I mean, you know how high elves are. They're all over the map. They can just kind of shoot at you the entire time and be a general nuisance. But the battle's over. That was actually a very tough army. You can see how much damage they did to us. But we just had more power. We had more capabilities here. I mean, those gunners, man, are so powerful. They're by far my favorite ones to use. I mean, even in comparison to deck gunners who have more damage. But these guys have so many and they're able to fire with a lot of accuracy. They do a lot in battle. To be reckoned with. Nice right, time for me to occupy. Belongs to me. I'll take that. Armor of Fortune. Very nice. All right, you have a lot of what you need, pal. I could have you get some recruitment stuff too. Well, when I have more money. Yeah, that'll be good for now. Finally fought that battle. Let's go look at my damage real quick. Hold on, for my gunners. 26, better than my regiment of renown. Yeah, those tend to not get the buffs of my leader. They're good in the early game, but later on I feel as though sometimes they fall off unless they have like a different ability entirely, then they can still keep their uh, practical purpose. And I'm dehydrated. I've been dehydrated for like days now. It's been like super cold, so I need to like find a way for me to drink more water when it's like super cold. I've been like drinking room temperature water, which I'm like fine with. I need to do like a thing where after a video I just down all of my water. Do that over and over and over. Eventually I'll be hydrated. We finally did it though. We finally crushed Teclas. I mean, he's only got what? One or two more locations left in Lustria that we can go elsewhere to go. Wait, who's over here? Better not be him. The Dreadfleet. Okay. Are you fighting him, Ri? Weird. Okay. Got a right to use for more money. It's just a little influx of gold. I'll take it. 14,000, not bad. Okay, Mad Dog Marty, let's have a look. We're bringing you down, you better come out. You know where you need to go, buddy. I just wish we could move so much further over the water that we couldn't land. Hey, come over here, you might be able to recruit something decent. Let's have a look. I'm not going to have you use anything but a uh, local. I'm going to give you, let's see here, some of those, yeah. Oh my god, 47 damage. If I get to have them fire in mass, I mean, they're just going to kill everything. All right. Even though I should have had... Mad Dog Marty give you one unit. That's okay though. Maggie Black Cell. Welcome back, Maggie. Let me look at you real quick. Yeah, you know your job. Get out of here. We've got two coves over there. A lot of corruption nearby. Temple of Kara, now gone. I could rebuild it. It's a lot of money. All right, time for me to colonize. Not my favorite thing to do, but we'll do it now. All right, at your level, I'm gonna keep you on foot still. I'm just gonna make you better in combat. So we're gonna give you Master Strike for more damage. We've got some money. Yeah, build that up then. Turtle Isles, what do you need, pal? Yeah, take your money. 
And over here, a jetty. No wonder we can get so many freaking Vampire Fleet Captains. We'll upgrade that capital first. We'll go after that jetty later. I'm getting twitchy. All right, Luther gets to move on now. Murder them. Never. Look who it is. Seaborn death. All right, we can't quite reach it, so we're going to move back here into my lands. There we go. Now we can patch up. I'm bringing a bloated corpse. They have no walls. We'll have another field battle. Fighting a bunch of white lions and friends. And we're done with that turn. That is another completed turn. Lutheran and Illyrian finally confederated. Now, both of is under their, their united control. I wonder if their power level went up. You know, Dragon Ball Z style. Order of Lord Masters. Okay, good. You didn't get Sam Jenkins. I just want to get rid of their agents afterwards. And once I sell over the water to go after their final resting place, we'll have an easier time of it. I could issue a peace treaty until I get over there. That would be 10 turns of waiting. That would give me time to focus on what's happening in Lustria. We could take over the dwarves, Itza. Hmm. I could keep that in mind. Wouldn't be a bad goal, I suppose. I mean, I do kind of like it. Mad Dog Marty remains here because we still have Eats to fight. If he goes off, he'll be gone for a minute. Fair enough. My madness is not okay, Luther. One more location to go after. A mass murder is due every turn. Every day, every turn. Yeah, build that up. Turtle Isles, you're over here. Build that up. The walls, you're probably not going to need them. Not right now. Dwarves, I wish you would expand a bit more. Ooh. What's over here? Northman come. One Norse yeah. army. They might even burn it down. Hell yeah. Yeah, the majority of their power remains in Tor Elisor now. Okay, Maggie Black Cell. We know what you're good at, Maggie. We're just going to have you sell off for a bit. Okay. Do I have any other agents who are back? I kind of wish there was like two tabs, one for lords and one for heroes. I mean, that would be much better. That would make my life a lot easier for sure. But anyway, Maggie, what are we going to give you? Can't see myself using you in battle, not yet. Take that. All right, Mad Dog Marty, we're actually going to bring you back because I want you to pass off a Necrofex. Clean Wars is just like chilling out here. We are brave, All right, let's get you way over here real quick. I have arrived. You're getting closer now. What else do I want to give you? Some more gunners. That would be four of them, sure. Those, in my view, are the better ones. All right, you'll give her, let's see, one Necrofex, maybe two of them. I haven't decided yet. She's going to need some Death Guard, too, but that will give her all the firepower she needs. Yeah, that'll give her a lot of firepower. Sure, build that up now. And... Jesse Monford, you're just kind of waiting, waiting around. Basic wooden hole, that's more replenishment. Now we can go back into battle. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, if it wasn't for Luther Harkon coming down here to fight, this battle would take a minute. He's tearing through every enemy. Ooh, we haven't had one of these in a long time. I don't think we've had one of these in our current campaign. It's been a minute. They're my favorite. I'll show you how I usually handle these. I changed it up like last year or whenever. But generally, I don't like to defend right here. Sure, I can block them off completely. I'd rather have them move through, especially if I have a lot of artillery, because when they move through, man, they're all jumbled up. It's really bad for them. 
even their ranged units all jumbled up. If they're back here, they can spread out and keep on hitting me. It's not really that great for my own infantry. But there are two locations to defend from, and I am pretty far back, so it's actually not a great map. Not at all. Oh, shit. This is really bad. Ugh. There's, like, trees in all the wrong places and everything. All right, Queen Bess, we'll move you up later, lady. I'll try to move up my infantry. They're not going to make it in time. Let's just try to get them up. Got so many cheap units. Gunners over here. I'll put you in your own thing. You'll be over here. You two will be in your own thing. Let's begin now. Let's move up now. Queen Bess, we're going to have you target. Oh, actually, if they're not going to move, cool. Because I'm attacking, then maybe we've got a pretty good shot at uh, causing some issues. Ooh. There goes some of their artillery. Nasty. Very rude again. Okay, let's go hit it. Right now. All right, Queen Bess, I'm going to move you up a bit. I don't want you to attack yet, or they're going to come after me. I am going to have our good friend Luther Harkon attack that artillery. Because I'm very spiteful. Go kill some Lothern Sea Guardsmen. Oh my god. That dwelled on top of them for a minute, didn't it? We wiped out another group. They're just moving through now. Yeah. Go in, buddy. I've got a lot on my right flank to take care of. Okay, where's my gunners at? They're over here. Cool. Let's bring in my infantry on this side. If he's going to cover that side, we're going to cover this side then. Get over here. Running Leviathan. You'll move in too. Oh, Sammy boy. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. All right, let's use some spells over here to wipe out more of them. And as we do that, we're going to bring in some more infantry. Oh, yeah, get them all in. Sirens, you too. I'm going to bring in, like, the really crappy zombies over to my uh, left flank. Just to kind of hold that off in case they come through. Queen Bess, if you want to do anything, it's up to you. But uh, here's your chance to shine, I suppose. Time for a sea shanty. Rotting Leviathan, you're going to come over here too. Go ahead, these uh, archers, real quick. I'm coming. Let me bring in some rotting Prometheans, real quick. And we're gonna debuff some enemies while we're out here. Here they come. Causing some issues for everyone. Alright, now while you're doing that, let's tire out that great eagle. Screw great eagles. Here's all my infantry trying to move in. So we're going to try to hit some more of their units real quick. Maybe some more archers. Yeah, right over here. Go get them. Okay, zombies. Let's go. Rotting Leviathan. Go take out that eagle, man. That eagle's annoying. Sam, you can move back, pal. I know they're bullying you. Little corpse. I forgot all about you, buddy. My poor little friend. Go kill them. Gunners. Let's go after these archers. All right, Queen Bess, what are you hitting? Well, why don't you go after some of these archers over here now? Push in a bit. We're going to have to break through. Kill their leader too. And move him back. Alright, what else can we debuff? Kraken's pull would be fun. Right about there. That should cause a few issues. There we go. We'll kill more of them. Queen Bess. How's it going? Only 21 kills, not great. I could just hit those by Luther, but no, I'm going to wait on that. Oh. Right, we haven't gotten into a cinematic view for a minute, so let's go check it out real quick. Here's a nightmarish apocalypse for the High Elves. For me, it's just another Tuesday, but for the High Elves, they're like, well, shit. All right, I want my gunnery whites to keep on hitting more of them. Let's go after these archers back there. I'm going to move them over here. Maybe over here and over here. If they do that, they should have a pretty good shot at killing a lot of them. Let's move our put a corpse back there if they can make it. Other pirates move in. You're just meant to be fodder, but good job. Go after that great eagle. Kill it. 
another group going. Go hit that one now. Another roll tide. All right, right through them. Not a high damaging spell, but good enough. He's filled over 400 now. We're using Luther Harkon at the same time as our main army, so it's not like we're just using him alone. We'll kill the spearmen real quick. They've got to go, I think. All right, gunners, go shoot their archers. That's really the best idea right now. If we catch them in a crossfire, they're done. Oh yeah, look at that. How quickly they fell apart. I don't need to chase them down. In battle. We lost 229. That bloated corpse got 127 kills. That's really good. Now, I sped up. I wanted to try to catch them and bunch them all up. Because I didn't have proper placement. I usually like to defend in the way that I described to you in the very beginning. But because we had trees in the way, that wasn't going to work out. All right, we did it. Level 20, finally. I'll try to keep you alive, pal. All right, we don't need those buildings at all. Blue Vipers, it might be time to kill you. Yeah, it might be. This could be it for us, buddy. Let's go look around real quick. Duvenonic Aggression Pact. They are survivors, true. Or could buy their lands later. He's only got one location left here. How adorable. I've got the Temple of Kara. I've got over here two out of three locations, not that capital area. Yeah, I think we'll wait then. We could just leave him alone. It would save me time. This area could have a lot of issues though until they grow. So I really do want to fight Itza. I've been waiting to fight Itza forever. All right, we can end our turn. We're out of money. We're out of things to do. I'm going to unite every province so that I can. It's more likely that we'll probably end up fighting the Blue Vipers. I mean, again, I could buy it. Then leave them alone because, I mean, they do kind of provide a buffer. They would be really weak after that. They fought really hard. I mean, they held on for a long time. Thanks to them, I was able to keep Teclas back for a long time. Now they're selling away. Look at that. They're like, we're out. <laughs> we're done. could focus on stabilizing our newfound conquest and now conquering is becoming faster before it was taking a minute now it's actually pretty fast I could go surround the dwarves I've got the money and time to actually conquer them and subjugate their lands by bringing multiple leaders we'll have all that local corruption helping out Okay, still technology. That's more missile damage for my range units. We're gonna take, I mean, that's cool and all, but we're gonna take that watch post and a bit of public order. We need corruption too, though. True enough, we do need corruption. I am the Pirate King. Okay, it's time. We need more damage, don't we? I think so. Magazine, right? Maintain cannons. Protective hide. Oh, that would actually be good for my flying units. Yeah, we'll take that. It won't save you from a cannonball in the face, but smaller indirect shot may be deflected. Yeah, we'll take that. That's a good idea. Crazy. Not stupid. All right, so if we go look at it real quick. Who controls that location? I need, I need to find out if the Skaven are over here. I don't want to fight Clan Moors. Then Moors is actually an ally I'd need to keep. I take that for money. Upgrade that one too. Take that. Get rid of the mangrove of monsters. We don't need it. You can move down over here again. Yeah, they own two locations I need to complete my conquest. Then after that. They'll own things a little bit north of Lustria. Imminent Rebellion. Well, we knew that was coming. Duke Jared's causing a few issues. We'll go get him too. We are brave, my 
Okay, Mad Dog Marty, time for you to go give away a few of your units. All right. Let's give away that. It just doesn't really fit your army. We do have a lot of shooters, but we need a few things I can scrap too. I could give her a Necrofex Colossus too, like two of them, or at least one of them, one extra one. I think I'm gonna give her like Rotting Leviathans instead. Yeah. You've got two Death Guard, you've got three Zombies, you've got Gunners, you've got a Rotting Promethean. What else do you want, pal? You've got so much. All above board. Yeah, we'll take one more. All bones on deck. All right, then I want her to move over Ready. here to go recruit some better stuff too. We'll need some new agents. I'll have to wait on that. I don't have the tree lines to help out. Leadership goes up. Aggressive, gotcha. Knowledgeable's over here. Floor keeper for vampires magic. Okay. I have a feeling your healing spells are going to be quite handy. It's an invocation of the heck. I like that. So we're going to take that. Drown Dead would be nice to have. Dance Macabre. Also nice to have. Replenish troops. Done. And we're going to take kidnapping. Alright, you get one agent for now. Imbecile. Trusty Monfer can wait where he's at. He's been having to wait for too long. He's like, dude, I just want to fight battles. What are you doing to me? Alright, take that replenish troops real quick. He'll be ready in a turn to move on. Tito's Adley's building up. Maggie Black Cell's moving away. She'll have the money later to go after. Uh, how much? Oh, okay. It's really not too bad. You don't have a lot of money, though. Boo. Boo, I say. Alright, Luther Harkin. I hear We're gonna leave you there for now. Let's end our turn again. It could be the turn of other factions while he kind of ups up the corruption here. It could be their turn to go fight for a bit. But Techless, yeah, he's done for. When the Blue Vipers take out that last location, what's left of like Tal Den, who actually made it out alive. Can't believe he made it out alive. That's pretty wild. And they did that vortex. So it's, well. The Vortex might be done for some faction, it's just not him. Because I forgot all of them can do it. I guess like just one of them wins the great bonus at the very end. I would assume. I would assume. Alright, there's the scalings again, Celestial Storm. About to be my turn again. There's that rebellion, but we can easily auto resolve it. Yeah, leave Creepy Carry alone. Tiring of all of your intervention. Maybe if I have a peace tree for a bit, he'll actually leave him alone so I can use my agents on other factions. I like that. There's Clan Wars again. Yeah, I would have to give them gold for them to be okay with me, but, uh,. Each, uh, you're pretty powerful. Order of Lore Masters, you're not. Oh, wow. No matter what, no peace treaty. That's pretty wild. Well, you know what to do, pal. Time to go burn that location down. Let's go. I've been angered. It's time to kill. Alright, I don't want a creepy care to get wiped out again, but let's hope that you'll fail. I mean, you're level 8, but that hasn't stopped a lower level agent from being able to win. I take out my buddy. Alright, we'll give you a turn to get your agent back. Two toes Adley. Yeah, probably. Get over here. We can have you go after other nearby captains, too, to make more money. So we're going to give you... Let's have a look. One, two. One, two. One group of sirens. You don't really have like cheap zombies to really bind them up though. What we could do instead, when I think about it, we'll take Nothing one, two, three. 
Or we change it up. We grab the really hard hitting guys, four of them. Then we grab like four of the zombies. Kind of a weird army, I think, though, if I do it like that. We'll grab two zombies instead. Two more pole arms. I've got my gunners. I don't have rotting leviathans out the wazoo. So we're going to take that. Well, you might as well use, yeah, your own local recruitment. Three turns total, then she'll be ready. It'll be a slightly different army based around my flying units. All right, ravenous attack. Sammy, why don't you take, yeah, go. Go take that. That'll do it. The creeping jungle. Yeah, you could use more corruption. Take that too. You're nearly all happy. That's just amazing. All right, that event is over. So we need to go look at things real quick. Uh-huh. We're going to sort it by public order. You guys are super happy. You don't need plus five anymore. It's just wasting my money and time. So what are you going to take? Let's have a look. Recruitment cost goes down. Global recruitment goes up, which is fine, I guess. Or corruption. We might as well take that. It'll slow down enemies, too, in our land. Okay, so we've got, like, way too much public order, surprisingly. That usually never happens, but plus 20 is a lot. We'll take out these two. That'll give me new buildings. Okay, the headhunter's jungle. We don't need that now. Bat swarms will be fine. All right, public order seems to be fine here too. We'll get rid of that one. Surprisingly, the copper desert is super okay. If I need to build a new building, then I'll do that. But uh, for now, bat swarms everywhere. We have none for tax rate, it looks like, which is a shame. That would have been a nice addition. Plus five. Yeah, it gets a little bit lower now, especially back at home. Where I've got all my crazy stuff. Turtle owls are fine. The jungles are not okay. Lost Valley. They're okay, barely. The capes are never okay. All right, what about those um other... Oh, yeah, they're really far away. Holy shit. Morgul's and Rotting Prometheans. The Morgul's are probably really good. I would like to get them to see like what color they are. Um, I think that's really it for... Well, no, no, it wouldn't be it. I've got to go pick up a few upgraves. Um, for two days, I'm going to call it upgraves from now on. Just seems topical and right. Okay, so we haven't really given you any crazy artillery, but you're going to be more of an aggressive army, I think. We're going to have you push in pretty hard. Hopefully, that's not a bad idea. We'll find out quickly if it is. You could probably use more replenishment, too, but also more experience. So, take all of that. Mad Dog, what do you even need? A dart launcher? Okay. Fair enough. Another turnover. Is Maggie Black Cell on our following turn? It's coming up now. We're gonna build a cove in Skeggy, and basically anywhere that we don't have one. That's how long it takes them to get back home. <laughs> it's gonna take them many turns to actually go back to where they need to go. I would love to know the stats of an AI faction at any given time, though, to see how much gold they have, to see how they're supplied by the. AI cheats they get. I just want to know if like anything I do will actually impact them financially. I think like at a certain point it does. I just don't know like what factors they take into consideration to really come out with that type of response saying, hey, you know what? It's time for them to be weaker now. Oh, the air entry. That's coming after me now. Okay, that's a pretty big force. Now they probably built up. Let's go look at them. Ah, uh, 12 units, okay. Got walls everywhere, that's cool. We'll take that, a haunted mill, or growth, but more money too. And over here, more money for me. Well, the court is fine. If it shifts away from being fine, then let's build more there again. Yeah, I want my money. It's a capital area. What about over here? More money, yep. 
teleporter seems to be fine. That'll help out adjacent locations too. Very nice. Oh yeah, take your walls, man. You need your walls for sure. Public order's fine. Can I help you? It's gonna looks like it's coming from my uh, area here. And it shouldn't be. What the hell? <laughs> Are you still waiting? That's another army. They held on. Jeez, I didn't think they could. Alright, the caves are going to have a pretty big fight. Let's go look at what we have left. So you'll be ready in how long? Two more turns. Gotcha. That's going to up you to get rid of even more upkeep. I don't think I have the money now for my cove that I want it. Nope. Need a little bit more for that. Yeah, trusty Monfort's going to go after the freaking elves. I know you'll be mad, dude, but if you want to fight me, come at me. But until then, we're just going to burn down this location. Look at that high corruption, though. That's really nice to see. What's going to have you build? Not even more replenishment. I'll train up any new units. Yeah, that's fair. Creepy Carry's finally here. Finally here. Okay. Let's go over here. Put him into his army. Again. All right, that corruption's going up. Holy Quarter's going to be down for a bit. Holy Quarter's fine over here. Headhunter's Jungle. They're fine over there. Let's go look at um, Trusty Monfort. He'll be ready in a turn. Undead. Isabella, you'll come up. Onwards. Overland. That'll be faster, I think. Ready. Maggie hasn't moved. We'll get her to dig for treasure. Okay. Turtle Isles are over here, so let's go ahead and get that up. That too. Might as well just build everything. Alright, Mad Dog Marty, you're just kind of chilling out here for now. I guess we're going to get ready to go find the dwarves. The dwarves are going to be pretty close to Jared, so we'll go down here. If we need to finish off Duke, Jared will do that. If not, we're going to come over here, beat him. Luther will come down to help me out. We'll probably get him to come down where then? The Chamber of Visions, I could go take that. I do want walls over here in this area, but I'm going to unite the area. Normally, I wouldn't be like interested, but it's part of my goal to take over all of Lustria. It's just very time consuming to do all this extra stuff. The Blue Vipers are looking really weak, though. I really feel like I should just kind of call it a day and kill them. I would save some gold. Conquer a few extra locations. The ones where I can't unite the province for... Oh my god, again. Then I could just uh, burn it down. But you're not going to stop me from conquering Lustria. I don't think I've ever conquered Lustria like this. Not comprehensively like this here. That's pretty cool. That makes me feel more powerful than usual. We've had some pretty good fights too. Mostly led by Luther Harkon. But my strategy of containment has worked out. It's been pretty good. We were able to contain Teclas. We were able to conquer all around the lands, which I think was pretty interesting. Oh no. They finally won. There goes your Vortex, dude. Holy crap. Well, they're done for. <laughs> Alright then. Jared's still building up. So we're getting Mad Dog Marty to come down quickly. It'll only take him a couple of turns. You got my agent. That's pretty rude of you, dude. Alright, later. Bye, man. You have no power left over here. Only your agents. Alright, what else am I going to give you while we're out here? Master Strike again. Yeah. Alright, we're going to have him run back to his lands real quick. We're going to upgrade a few things. I wanted my cove, so let's go get that done finally. Oh, but you make more money. I don't have one over here. I can make more money if I go after that one. Let's do that instead. Can't reach it yet, so we'll, on our following turn, we'll build that. Here we go, more money. Hell yeah. Those are fantastic buildings. I feel like I need one in like every capital if I really want to become wealthy. Independently wealthy. Take that. Reduce your chance of having public order issues. Robbie the Creeper, he's level 21 now. 
We're going to give him Powder Monkey. Just everything that he's able to pick up. The seas are mine, don't okay. So you're waiting there. Tutus Adley has one more turn, then she'll be ready. All right, have her go after some treasure. Ooh, that Skull Reef, too. That Skull Reef will be fantastic. That'll be some good training for her. She'll be able to train up. She'll potentially lose the battle. That would be cool. I'm kidding. Um, then we could... Let's see, Itza, if you want to like rebuild a little bit, I just hope that Clan Wars didn't settle into those ruins. It's a possibility, but I hope they didn't do that. That would be really nice if they didn't, then I could be the one to uh, build it up. Though I'd like if the Dwarves or Itza did it. So now we finally have, like, what, four factions left? We've got Dwarves, me, Itza, Orcs. That's it, four. It took forever to get here. The Blue Vipers, Itza, Spine of Sotek Dwarves. So, I guess, like, they would need a better name, like Sotekians. It's not really a better name, but it is a name. Okay, Doc. Let's go look. Mad Dog Marty's still moving down. I might actually fight it out, depending on how big the fight. Ooh. Yeah, because we haven't really fought the Britannians before, I believe. I don't remember fighting them. I think we did once. Ooh. We're getting closer. I'm not going to use that Cursed Mist yet. All right, come back to your temple. I know they're pissed off at me. That is a okay. Okay. Upgrade that capital area. You should have the money to take their money over here. That's going to help me out financially. I'm going to try to find more lucrative locations to build my coves in. That way, I'm not just building them everywhere. More gold hunters, huh? Huh. Okay. We'll take half. On deck. Your orders. You're making a decent amount. Yeah, we'll come after you too. Oh, I'm already doing that. Okay, I'm gonna change it up though. That's only 200 income. I'd rather have uh, half. Good Just thing I can actually manage those locations. What about over here? That's only 500. I can take half still. That'd be 250. Wouldn't be a lot. Arnheim doesn't have a lot. Can't build one in the Galleon's graveyard. So we're in rock. Do you still have yours? Oh, I don't think you were as wealthy before. You know what? I need to go check on my coves. <laughs> a few of these locations are actually doing pretty well. What about Black Light Tower? We'll keep that one. That one will destroy. I don't need to worry about corruption out here. What else do we have? That's half. Oh yeah, that makes me a lot. And over here, half. Yeah, I've got a few coves left from when she was out here. 200, 200. Shagrath. We could do half. House of Ruin. 200 prayer. What about the Fortress of the Damned? Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, we'll go take half. I mentioned like every location. All right. All right. Did I manage to establish any over here? Like a few, I think. El Hayek doesn't have crap for money. That's not really worth it. La Shayik is still fucking dirt poor. Yeah, Tim Kings are not generating a lot of money. <laughs> Clearly. Got other locations to build up at, but that'll do it. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff. We got them. Tutoys Adley is finally ready to move. A power stone. Boo. Not really what I wanted. Yeah, we'll have her go after some treasure. On deck. Like over here. Deck hands falling. Yeah, take some armor. I've got a little bit of gear for all of you to use. Not a lot for you, but a little bit. Okay, we're going to end our turn once more. We're making so much more money. I'm going to change up my coves. We're going to extract so much more on the following turn. Because I worked so hard on downing my upkeep, we can now afford another army. Now, if I keep on working at it and I take over Lustria and I change up my buildings as needed for more money, we could potentially build a fifth army. Oh my god. That'll be a decent amount of money back though. Hey, good for me. It'll give me a nice little boost. 
I swear to God, if it does destroy my coast completely, I'll be sad, but it'll be a learning experience that I'll have learned myself. And you'll have learned too by my own incident. No, I think we have a lot of cool battles coming up though. We're gonna buy up the lands belonging to the blue vipers, like over here and over here. Then we can begin going after Itza and the dwarves. We're gonna unite all of these lands for sure. So leave a like and comment down below. Look forward to more content later and let me know what you think about the campaign so far. Until then.